We're going to conclude our lessons on combinatorics by talking about some discrete probability. Probability is the study of random phenomena. Loosely speaking, the probability of an event is the likelihood that that event will occur. When I'm talking about finite sets, the probability of the subset E is the likelihood that if I pick a random element of my universe, equally likely, then the element that I pick is going to be from the set E. More technically, probability involves assigning a measurement to a set and calculating the size of that measurement relative to the size of the entire universe. In discrete math, a natural choice of measure is the one we've spent the last several videos developing, the counting measure. In other words, we're going to say that the measure of a set is its cardinality. Here's our definition. Let omega be a finite set. Uh, usually we've been calling omega the universe. Now we're going to call it the sample space. And we're going to call the elements of the sample space outcomes as usual. And all of them are going to be equally likely. That's really important. A subset, E of omega, is called an event. Then the probability of an event is going to be the size of the event, its cardinality, divided by the size of the sample space. Let's do a quick example involving the definition of probability. A bag has 100 Scrabble tiles in it. Of these, 9 have an A on them. We're going to let omega be the event that we draw a tile, and A be the event that that tile has the letter A on it. What is the probability that you draw an A tile? So we're going to calculate the probability of the event A, which by definition is the size of A relative to the size of the sample space. There are nine tiles that have A's on them. There are 100 equally likely tiles. So our answer is 9 out of 100, or if you like, 0.09. The following properties arise from our definition of probability. Um, they are not super hard to prove from the definition, so try to prove them yourself. Uh, if E is a subset of omega with probability of P of E, then P of E is non-negative. It's at least zero. If F is a subset of E, then F's probability is at most the probability of E, and the probability of the entire sample space is equal to one.